people it's another beautiful day on the program woman to woman i am adorable at this most often in time people find it difficult to understand a woman and then when you hear men talk they say women are so difficult to understand but there are so many things that a woman actually hates in a man or there are things women hate in men do you even know what those things are there are so many but unfortunately men don't even know and when some women try to voice out they are seen as feminists they see them as uh, you know a woman who has a disobedient spirit and all of that so there are so many things a woman actually hates in a man and those things we're going to look at some of them today and then uh, there are things too that women wished their men knew about them they don't want to voice this thing out. They just want the men to know, just know it, that this is what we want and this is what we like. All right? So these are many more we are going to be doing on the program, Woman to Woman. So joining me today, I have my usual crew. Seated beside me is uh, the delectable, beautiful Doris Oyechi Uberfo. She's the CEO of Society for empowered youth development a pleasure to have you join us again today thank you, so thank you. Thank you. and of course uh, the princess herself has been a while princess join me as i make welcome the beautiful princess bola akalame she is of course the ceo of women for positive change she's a writer in fact she's writing a book presently and we're going to launch that book in a while we're going to be looking at you know uh, 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 women's participation in politics. She's a strong advocate for that. So, Princess, happy to have you join Thank us you on so the program today. Thank you so much for having me. And we're looking so blue. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. We don't serve the food. It's on the plate. We don't serve them. What are some of those things that women hate, that they despise, that they dislike in men? So, let me start with you, uh, Doris, because you're sitting beside me. Okay, um, there are quite a lot of things that um, women don't like about men. Okay. And even in relation relationship, that boils down to control. Control. Yes, hostility, disrespect, you know, intimidation, um, physical abuse, sexual abuse. So these are, they are quite enormous, okay. but what hurts us most is this issue of um, let me start taking them one by one like that of um, control mm. you know every woman enjoys being independent of course every woman enjoys having a voice in a home every woman enjoys taking decisions or being part of decision making mm -hmm. in a home is is quite um cheating the cheating for a partner a dirty partner or the man in the house is the only one taking all the decisions, all the decisions. and they expect the woman to obey he determines who visits whom you keep up with he determines what you wear what you eat what you say that's you absolute know? control in fact he sees himself as the lord and the woman a puppet a puppet so it's, it's not um, encouraging. Okay. It gives women that um, sense of um, you not being part of the home. You know, every woman deserves freedom. Like one of the furnitures in the house. When you see yourself as the decision maker, mm. as the all and all in the home, yes. the woman becomes very relevant. Okay. And having her in such situation, she can never be happy. Okay. with herself and even with you in the home okay let me pause you there now princess let me feel your pause hmm. on this issue yeah there are a whole lot of things that uh, women really hate uh, the issue of nagging you still have a whole lot of men who nags who nags you it's know? surprising that men nags of you know course, of uh, course. i also think that is a woman's business. no there are a whole lot of men at home uh i've come across a whole lot of women discussing it, you know, that their husband nags them a lot. You know, nagging, we are talking about nagging, we are talking about something uh, when you drop a cup, the husband say, please, you should take that cup, you should not drop that cup. Yeah. 
when you drop a clothes don't put it there mm -hmm. when you when you wear a clothes don't wear this kind don't of wear, this wear kind the of red clothes. one okay mm -hmm. when you do anything so you didn't see anything good in you why do men nag let me you know? uh, let me ask why, why do you think men nag yeah the problem is that is uh, what we do yeah it, no no not to say most times is they will what uh they are coming home with okay sometimes they have issues in the At office work, so they bring it you know? home they'll bring they it bring home. the frustration from Why outside is inheriting okay they inherit it from their parents uh you see a whole, some men behaving like a woman mm -hmm. at home. Yes, sometimes you see maybe uh, instead maybe in the family mm -hmm. we don't have men in the family. The family no female, no, no female you know. That that we want to behave. So it's as difficult as for them to live with a woman. You know? Mm -hmm. So and another thing, a man <coughs> without vision, a man without vision and mission. You know, there's a man. They don't know what they want. Okay. They don't have vision. They don't know what they want to do with their life. You no, know, you ha you have a whole lot of married men. You see the women taking care of the home. You see the, you see a whole lot of men going out there for morning in the morning you go out playing around and all of that. Just looking around. You cannot sit yourself down, even when the woman is preaching you that you need to do something. You need to do this, but you feel a lot of laziness. So women because hate that. Women, a whole lot of women hate that. The women want to see their husband being proud of. The women want to see their husband going further, going higher in life. The women want to see their husband, you know, achieving a lot. It brings joy. It brings fulfillment into that woman's life. Mm. Even without giving that woman anything, you will be proud of that man. You're smiling that because you have vision for your mind already. Yes, because <laughs> I have a man that has vision and mission. I know. And knows what he wants and mm. he goes for it. For it. And he has determination of getting whatever he of wants course. to get. So when you have a man like that, you will be so happy. So we find out that with discussion with my discussion with a whole lot of women, I realize that a whole lot of husbands men they are so lazy or let me say some of them some of them are yes lazy. some of them are lazy you know uh especially when they discover that uh, maybe the woman is having higher hand okay. or higher level or higher money or thereabouts uh they feel relaxed because they don't want it they don't know what they want but when they have a vision no 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 the thing is this why would a woman in the first place marry a man without vision and mission according to you first of all when you ask them that question because i've it, 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 it relates with them most often i've talked to them some of that even crying you know i have encouraged them and all of that most times you find out that the love you know when they say love conquers all things mm. you know after that time the guy is still wearing uh uh pev you see gadging up you see doing fine boys uh, and, and all of that like all of those are borrowed and things don't forget there's a whole lot of some of them they lie a lot okay they they, they say whatever what they the don't woman have here sometimes when they want to get the woman into relationship or into marriage oh i'm the one that owns this company I'm the one that owns this car. I'm the one that owns this house. And before you need the woman will form Mugu. We form Mugu. Oh. You know? By the time you get into the we should, house we should, properly. We should we should we should deal with such a yes. woman anyway. So the woman will not be regretting. <laughs> right, this is right, not right, what right. I bargain for. This is not what I want. Okay. But you told me you have this. You will see color, you will see fire, you will see trouble. Uh -huh. so, so it is true what they say that a woman is moved by what she what, hears. Yes, and what is you know. Very so those are the things, you know. And another thing, a woman hates men that lies a lot. You mm -hmm. know, a, some some of these men they lie. But it is that lie that most women like. Eh, uh, yes. But when it comes to marriage, when it comes to marriage, you lose it, come out easily. You know, you, you mm -hmm. can't cover it. It's Forever. when you are seeing the boyfriend and girlfriend, that you are you seeing can, that kind that of you relationship, can you can't successfully lie. lie. 
But when it comes to home, husband and wife, you can just lie today. But tomorrow you can't lie. I'm looking for a bigger lie to cover that. Okay, but let me let me hold you now. Don't is yeah, well, I've been just to me, but I have been smiling and he wants to say something, so go ahead. Yeah, like... Uh, the things women hate. Like what she said, the nagging boils down to hostility at home. And then um, disrespect too is another big issue. Because I see this line to also originate from disrespect. And then um, having someone who does not have value for your dignity mm. is a problem. You know, and but 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 Doris, that one you just said there. A lot of men see it as training. I've heard a man say that I'm training you. Oh God! And I was like, what kind of training is this man giving his wife? You nag your wife. Mm. You basically disrespect and in, in fact, that man has PhD in insults. Mm. You basically disrespect and insult your wife. Mm. And another Every thing, when you nag a woman, mm. it brings annoyance down. Mm. Uh, it will down, you know. If she will not be proud of herself, she will be ashamed of herself. And a woman will not be proud of herself. You know, no. you know when you post on him, in this woman, mm -hmm. when you post on him, he insults you. When you post on him, he says good things about you. Yeah. 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 You don't really want to feel good. You don't really want to feel good. You don't really want to feel good. Okay. Ah wow. Okay. There is. Take it away from there. Okay. Um. Every human person deserves dignity you know respect goes before love in my own philosophy of life okay i believe so much in respect and i believe that um, when you have someone who have this respect for your dignity you have the ability to live with the person for the rest of your life and then um, again we also talk about um, physical abuse, you know, there is no woman who enjoys being beat, unless probably you don't have value for your life. There are some women who actually enjoys being beaten. Because the, some of them say when they are being beaten, they just love. Get, give them something. We give them, we, we, they will be gifted. That's actually a psychiatric case. If yes. you ask. Mm. Because I have um, come to um, See the lifestyle of those women. Majority of them don't even have something doing. They are very dependent on, on their the man. partner. Yes, and they always create room or avenues where they can be able to get some mm -hmm. money. Yes, every right-thinking woman does not enjoy physical abuse okay. because your life will be at stake mm -hmm. at that uh, moment. Then um, sexual abuse too is a problem. Some will say why mentioning sexual abuse in marriage or in a relationship. Yes, everything that has to do with sexuality is a matter of consent. You have to put it at the back of your mind that in everything that you are asking for sexually has to do with consent. Mm -hmm. When you forcefully take advantage of that on your wife, I think you are abusing her. It has been argued that the moment you say yes to a man, and the man also say, okay, let's get married, and the man marries you, it means you have decided to give everything that mm -hmm. you have, whether you like it or not, to the man. And so the man can take whenever and however he wants. That's the argument, that a man cannot rape his wife. The man cannot forcefully take it from his wife. That is the argument on the streets. Oh, I think I don't that marry you, marry everything, we consign you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that you, is it. You married the woman, you married everything concerning her, right? Mm -hmm. But at least as human, as an adult, she needs consent in every affair, in every ramification, in the home. She needs she needs consent. You need her consent before you do so. As for me, before you do something like that. Because you cannot tell me that every time you need it, you just jump into her to get it. I think you are not doing her any good, you know. Because every human, mostly women, we are being controlled by our mindset. When a woman is tired, I think she needs some space to get rest. Some of us, psychologically, we need, some of us just need to have a shower 
to get rest, not sex. Mm. I think it's that of the men that always go for sex to feel relaxed, to ease themselves of the way to this stress. But we women, it's a different case. Try to find out the kind of partner you have and the exact thing that she needs or she wants. A, a, a working class woman or a career woman who comes back, who goes to work every day just like you and comes back home at the end of the day yes. just like you, I think you are not doing her good, barging into her, telling her, open your legs and all of that. You need to seek for consent. You need to talk to her. You need to get her prepared before that. So if you are the type, who you know, you know, the way you're saying it is like uh, asking the man to beg for it. And most men will be very angry to hear that kind of a thing. No, a woman who are married with their money, you know that kind of a you thing. You can talk to her. Why should I? Why should it's I? Just an understanding. Her, why, why it's an understanding. You can't yes. talk to her. Yes, when you have begging. an understanding. Even if you beg, it's not bad. It's mm -hmm. your wife. Okay. It's your partner. There's a case I. If you come for her, it's not. There's bad. a case that is making me to be angry. To be okay. Aspect of sexual abuse. To be smiling right now. You know, it's one aspect of se sexual abuse. Okay. There are other abuses mm. sexually that can even happen. There is no woman who enjoys a man who is a skirt chaser. You mm. know, who always um, violates little children they have at home as nannies or helpers or even relatives or even in-laws. There is no woman who enjoys that. You understand? Somebody yes. said the worst thing that can happen to a woman is when the husband cheats. Mm -hmm. That is it. It depends. It depends on a woman. Some of them, they don't enjoy it. Some don't even give a damn to that. So mm. there's no woman who likes doing that. Mm. Even you, as a man, abusing your wife in terms of um, denying her um, some basic rights that she needs, you also, it's an abuse. You understand me? Denying her this base fundamental rights in the house mm. is an abuse. Then, you, we can also talk about even your. Some of them will say, When I marry you, I marry everything mm -hmm. about no, of course now. It's not proper. It is not proper because the marriage is an individual just like me and you. We agreed to go enter into it. And if you take it upon yourself that I will become a subject of slavery to you, I have the right to opt out. I have my right to live my life. The way I want it. Okay. I have my rights to protect my life. Okay. You are not forced to be. Yes. We said you were smiling over something. Yes. Yes. I there is this. Yes. There is this family. Yes. yes. There is this family. Uh, when they really got married, and they have this timetable or roster or something like that. How we are going to remove <laughs> roster? Yes. When I heard about it, when right. when the woman said it, I was so amazed. Like. What is going on? He said, yes, they have it because the man always wants it. And that's bring issues at home every day. day. And she is the type that doesn't like things like that. But because you are in so so you have to submit yourself. So because of that, because, yes, because we don't have issues. Mm -hmm. uh, fighting and the fighting mm -hmm. between them is, is not a mechanized thing. <laughs> so oh you have God. to write to that. Oh that okay, God. today we are going to do things like this. Tomorrow we are going to do this. Tomorrow we are going to do that. Ah. Well, how are they married, Joe? I'm yes. telling you, all of the things are happening in here, you know? And another thing, the woman hates the man that is not supportive. Okay. You know, a, a woman with a supportive husband. Mm. You know, when a man is not supporting, he is the same Supporting what sense? Yes, he is the same as a woman with a pain. You know, and he comes to me and says, Look, look at what, the, what are the things I want and what I want to do and want to achieve. And the man, you look at it and you give advice. Oh, let's do it this way. Oh, let's do it this way. Oh, are we supporting 100%? And we'll do it too. You know, we've had a, a lot of cases where men will say, My wife, I don't want my wife to do anything. Uh, just because of what they heard, uh, uh, they see other people doing, you know. So, because of that, the divine divine needs to go out there okay. to achieve their own dreams. Their dreams, you know, and she becomes, she becomes a slave wife. So, because of that, the woman will be so sad again. So, when a man is being supportive, you see, 
the joy in that woman's life. I'm not only that. Mm -hmm. Another support, we have a whole lot of areas we are talking about being supportive. When you mean feel that helping a woman at home is abomination. Hmm. When you mean feel that I can't take care of my kids, I can't get my kids, I can't do this, is is an abomination in the village in the land like and like that. Mm. You are killing the woman slowly because you are you are putting all the bodies on the woman's you know hands mm. and all of that. So by it, when you are coming out and you are helping this woman, you know, we women will come out and talk and discuss sometimes about mm. what is going on in the woman. Mm. And you see a whole lot of women saying that, that their husband, that husband should, should, should be more domesticated. Not, yes. mm. I hope, I wish my husband can help me out in this area. I wish, when you, go, when you help a woman at home, when you take care of your wife, when you assist the woman, taking, you know, I see, I see a whole lot of big women. A billion women taking care of their, their children, beating them, home. you know, taking care of them, taking them to school and bringing them back, even when they are busy, you know, but you can't be busy more than your family. You understand? Mm -hmm. So they are so doing. The woman will be so happy. <laughs> you know, well, some happy. women will tell you, some women will take advantage of that. Yes, that is the thing. They will capitalize on that. Let him do it. Well, that is the thing. So, man, that is why they are relaxing. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. But when you do that, look, if the woman is born, if the woman knows what she wants and what she wants, she will appreciate it. And we make the house a living, loving a home for you. Okay. You know? uh, we're here on the program Woman to Woman, and uh, we're looking at uh, the things that women hate in men and uh between bola and endoris they've told us quite a number of things from nagging to lies to total control to lack of pampering lack of love uh then not involving the woman in decision making bringing your families into the problem you know that there are some men once the woman does the thing they'll just carry for mommy yes yes to the family oh, of so that she did this she did that you will not even tell them you know you will not you know you will not tell mother, many of them don't tell their wives of course it is the mother-in-law yeah. that will not carry phone yes. she does not pick her phone she will just she will carry the phone and then uh -huh. why did you do this to this my, to my son? son women um, don't like that that's you know? why they said mommy's uh, so okay, no, no, to no, their mommy's apron mm. exactly women that's don't women saying. don't like that's that that's why you say it goes that way so um reporting issues to your mother some people told their girlfriends to mm -hmm. their side chick a woman was complaining the other day that uh, she saw the husband's chat with the side chick mm -hmm. that everything that happened, happened in the, the home oh. the guy was now narrating everything to the side chick is your side chick more important than you know, your, your wife? wife you understand that, that you know somebody was saying no the way you Street side chick, the way you take care of side chick is not the way you should take care of your wife. Oh. If you do your wife like that, it will get into her head. Hmm. For goodness sake, who should enjoy all, all the pampering? Yes. Is it not the wife? wife? Who should enjoy all the love? You open car door for your for your right. side chick to sit there. You take your side chick to a restaurant and then you pull out a chair for our women don't like it. We ate it. <laughs> we and and men <laughs> do, we don't mean, like it. Men. The food the all food the food attention food. should be to the wife, Man, the woman who has food. given you everything, her mm. life, her name, mm. abandoned her father's name for you. Yes. You know, I was discussing with somebody and he said, look, my wife is my everything, mm -hmm. regardless of, of her F shortcoming. Yeah. I was like, okay, are you from this part of the, the world? world? He said, yes, I am. Outside I'm even at the door, man. Is mm -hmm. it in the house? Or he was, just, he was talking it. openly. Okay. And I'm not you know, no, let me tell you why I saw this. It was in the market. The man came to buy something. And the woman was there. Oh, God, it's a big present. Then let your wife come market. He said, if I can do it, what's the big deal? My wife is my life. My wife is not, she's tired. Let and me just do this leave, for her. If that is outside, mm -hmm. just leave it. It's packaging. Are you sure? Yes. There are some men. Oh, there are some men. There are some men. He comes outside. 
to praise your wife. I have seen some men coming outside to praise your wife. What inside is his hand? You know, you know them home. Is you know, you know, you I don't see praise your wife at home. You will see the Goliath in there. Yes, I mean, you see yourself. You see yourself. You see yourself. You see what you hear outside. What they say. They will pack their wife outside. You see, see? follow them home. Part of what women hear. I thought maybe the person is your neighbor. No, no, it was in the market. So the man was pricing, pricing, pricing. That is packaging. Okay, ladies, yeah. I want to say thank you so much thank for being for part of our show. Me. I've learned quite a number of things. Mm. Oga, okay, try now. Eh? The opposite of everything we've said here is what you should do to your wife. She deserves yeah. all the over pampering, yeah. all the love, all the attention. And honestly, if you do that, you will be bringing out the best From in her. that woman. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, for being part of today's thank show. You for having All me. right, guys, we'll see you again some other time. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.